You're probably not going to believe this story, but we were out hiking in the woods. We've gone through these trails many, many times over the years and you know, maybe seen a rabbit, seen a fox or a squirrel. But this time, these tracks were different. We'd heard stories that there were gnomes in the forest, but we didn't believe it until suddenly we were confronted by one in the middle of the trail, as if to warn us, turn back, turn back, do not come into our territory. So we wandered along the stream a little while longer, thinking, this will keep us safe, this will probably keep us out of gnome territory. But then, as we were walking, we found one that had been trapped. We don't know who had trapped it or why, but we released him. And he seemed very thankful for the, for regaining his freedom. So whatever had trapped him, we said, off, off, go, go, quickly, before you're caught again. So we wandered a little bit further along in the forest. And what did we see? Up ahead in the path, there were three gnomes climbing the side of a hill. One, two, and three. And then, a little while later, in behind the branches, one of us spied two gnome lumberjacks that were getting wood for a fire later today. And then, another one walking along a branch. Now, gnomes always freeze when humans see them. It's part of the gnome union rules. But then, we came across these two just as we were coming to the end of the trail and they told us that this was the Hall of the Mountain Gnomes. But unfortunately, we were too big to fit in there. So I loaned the one my camera and we, while we waited in the sun, the setting sun that day, they took some pictures and gave them to us and we're gonna share those with you right now. It was a fun day with the gnomes. Maybe we'll see them again next walk.